10 things that the animator in the gaming industry could really benefit from the use of AI. Hey everybody, this is Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. So you probably know for the last two, three years, we have AI entering in our area, right? And there's been a lot of debates, uh, mostly on the art side, because so far AI has been used uh, um, to do image, to do video and stuff like that. And a lot of artists actually have been upset. So first of all, there is the usual things, AI stealing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the worst part for me it is that uh, AI is not solving any problem. You're actually taking away, even though I think like AI is still not very good, but it takes away the beautiful part of our job because believe it or not guys artists we actually enjoy making art it's the beautiful is where you can express yourself as an artist you can show your human emotion your experience you can bring all this into art and i think ai it will never be able to do that in a way right but i don't see his as, as a black and white i don't think that ai is completely useless actually i do believe there is some area where AI could be amazing, right? because there is a lot of things that we do in game development or just sometimes in animation that is really tedious for us, right? We would like to have AI helping us in our task, right? And this is a list for you. And if you guys have any other advice, please let me know. I would like to know in the comment, all right? Number one, this is a very easy one. You know, guys, in video games, very often we need to do run cycle, walk cycle, right? And we want to do something different from the classic vanilla one. We want a run cycle or a walk cycle that kind of reflect the personality of the main character, right? And so what we do, we spend our time to craft something interesting that kind of reflect that. Too bad that the character doesn't walk or run just straight, right? Once you've done your run cycle or walk cycle, you have to do it the left, right, back, diagonally in all the angles, right? and it's really tedious. Nobody likes to do that. You want to focus on the creativity part, but start to do all the variation. It is very boring, and it's a job that sadly needs to be done, but it's not interesting for everybody. So I would love if I have a tool where I can just do a walk cycle and the eye can use and take the walk cycle that I've done it, and using all the other direction okay this actually would save plenty of time because it's not just about doing a work cycle and put into the game you test it and it doesn't work you need to increase the speed so the fact that you have to multiply these 16 times just for a work cycle and then another 16 times for a run increase a lot of the amount of work right and then there is a second exemption where transition right when you do an animation in game you always need to do a transition as another example from idle to walk, from walk to run, from run to a stall. Every time you do an attack animation, you need to do an attack animation and then go back to idle, right? I can guarantee you guys, nobody enjoying to do those transitions. But people need to do it because we want to make sure that, you know, when you do an animation, it goes back smoothly to an idle. But nobody enjoys to do that. It's a, it's a tedious work that needs to be done. I, I would love to have AI doing this kind of stuff for me so I can focus all, only on the interesting animation and those boring transition can be done by AI. It would be wonderful. Third case here, this is extremely important, heat reaction. So what does it mean, first of all, a heat reaction? You probably saw in combat, every time you guys do an attack, a strike or something, while the opponent doesn't react accordingly to your attack, right? This is called a heat reaction, where you get hit and your character can stumble on the side or whatever, right? And this is very crucial for combat because your heat, your combat is only satisfying as long as the reaction of the opponent is done accordingly. Most of the times what games do, they do just one generic hit reaction for every attack. And this doesn't work really well because in order to have a hit reaction that works amazingly, the reaction of the body needs to move depending on the direction of the attack. So if I'm in front of you and attacking you like this, your body will react in a, in a way. If I'm on the side, your body should react in another way. If I'm from the back in another way, you are getting the point, right? So this is extremely tedious and it takes enormous amount of time because imagine you have 30, 40 different kind of enemies and all of them, they should have at least 12, 15 different heat reaction um, for in order to work. Okay? Almost nobody does. That's why I think combat is one of the most difficult things to achieve. But what about if AI could do those heat reactions? Because I can guarantee you when I'm working on combat and I do an attack and uh, stuff like that, I do a combo that I love, it's very creative. I don't want to do another 20 animations to do the heat reaction of the opponent from every different angle. It's kind of tedious. You can do maybe a few of them just to get the style, but then you get tired very quickly. And definitely you don't want to do that for all the other characters. So this is a way where, for example, AI could really shine and you could really cut 
production value all right this will be an amazing help or even if it's done physically with some dynamic engine or stuff like that there is always sometimes problem where they don't blend back to idle or stuff like that so ai could really benefit a lot we could benefit a lot if ai really enter into this field then we have the classic penetration guys you guys know as much as we try to do very good animation it's very difficult to avoid penetration there is go always going to be a moment where you interact with an object you interact with a wall with a box on the ground or something and obviously uh, the interaction is not done properly there is always some penetration some foot sliding stuff like that but where is the high that take care of the, all of these things automatically and hide all those things right it happens even when you are in, in, in fantasy games or rpg right you can wear a lot of armor right um, the animation is always the same and the armor needs to adapt so sometimes it happens that the armor is very big you move your arm and suddenly it goes through the head and stuff like that right because again you cannot physically uh, readjust the animation of the armor for all the different cases it would be basically impossible this would be another case where i would like to see ai doing those things automatically and improve the quality without the need of human touch doing this because i guess even if we could be able to do it if we have even if we had handless of animator taking care of this nobody would enjoy it first of all and just will drive the cost of a production to an insane level then let's talk about a broken rig or bra <clears throat> Then let's talk about a broken rig or broken facial. How many times you're posing your character and the rig is not done perfectly or whatever, you're removing the shoulder and there is all bad deformation, the joint is not being used properly, right? And suddenly you want to stretch your character a little bit or do a little bit of extreme poses and all the deformation start to break. Cloth go inside of the body, just skin is not done properly. Uh, you need corrective shape, you know, you're trying to make a smile on your facial rig and it's not done properly And you just have to go there find move this character control here this other control and move it here You scale it hoping somehow to get the right result and you're spending 30 minutes Just to get the right facial expression because maybe the rig wasn't done properly Or it's just one rig that works with works with hundreds of character, right? So it needs to be kind of modular. How beautiful would it be if I understand what I'm trying to do? and automatically can fix the bad deformation to give me the best results so I don't have to go and spend hours to tweak every every little thing, right? Could be also for lip sync, right? I enjoy somehow doing lip sync and stuff like that, doing the overall facial expression, but sometimes there is always you spend a lot of time to make sure lip syncs it goes, it hit exactly the notes, the, the vocal and stuff like that. It would be nice to, to have a little bit of help in that case. So I don't have to waste time to always to hit the note because the eye does automatically, so I can just focus on the beautiful part on creating the facial expression the mouth expression right and the little things that nobody i think really enjoys ai could help in that case right we talk about even blend shape corrective blend shape right it's, it would be very nice if when the rigs are broken and stuff like that i don't have to go i don't have to wait another another department to do corrective shape to uh, adjust all the bad deformation it would be awesome if ai could do this automatically a great advantage for everybody Let's go a little bit more in animation. How many times you need to track the trajectory of your character? It's really easy when it's in IK, but it's always a bit of a trouble when there is FK because FK is driven by the chest, by the pelvis and everything. So your trajectory could be very messy. I would love if I can just click a button, uh, automatically adjust and make a perfect arc for my FK. And I don't have to worry and spend time about all those things because, because I can guarantee you I want to do a perfect art, art because sometimes it's just the technicality of the FK that you need to do counter animation and sometimes again counter animation can happen with the head rotation the chest your chest is moving like this but you want the upper chest to move in like this and sometimes there are all those little flickers right that are just created by the technicality of the counter animation in the 3d software right and again it takes time to clean it right it's just a waste of time I wish again AI could do those things for me and maybe there are sometimes tools that can help you to do that but they are never really integrated very well into the software so there are plenty of solutions I'm sure guys you have more ideas that I would like for you to share that where AI could be used to make our life easier and not just doing a, a proper 2d image instead of me doing an animation instead of me because that's the part i actually enjoy and i want to continue to do i want to continue to have creative choice not to spend my time to fix the technical stuff so my question is where is ai in all those things that they're supposed to focus i think they are focusing on the wrong things the list is endless 
of problem that we have in production that are technical short and we would like to solve it like this i would pay for something like this easily uh that instead of instead of helping us in those direction they're helping us taking away human from the creative process that's where i think human are really irreplaceable let me know what you think guys i'm waiting to hear in the comment and see you next time ciao